Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Raya Banerjee and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to handle a very important topic which is baking. Now because of this social media era and because of Instagram and YouTube influencers Baking has become a household makeup term, but makeup artists, drag artists, they have been using this technique for ages now. Now in this video, we are going to talk about what is baking, why do we do baking, when do you do baking, when you are not supposed to do baking and why baking can be the most horrible thing that you do and will ruin your makeup. Let's get started. I did my skin prep. Now I'm going to color correct my hyperpigmented areas using MAC concealer palette. Then I'm going to use my favorite liquid foundation Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 330. To cover any acne marks or pigmentation I'm using this pack concealer in the shade 14. To highlight my face, I'm using this sugar concealer in the shade 40 Breve. Finally, I'm going to set my entire face with this Cryolan translucent powder in the shade TL4. It's very important to set your foundation and concealer before you go ahead and do the baking. I have only done my base makeup. I have nothing on my skin. No eyeshadows, no eyebrows, no lips, no contours. So I probably look like a ghost right now. And you have to bear with me so now that my base makeup is done we are going to talk about baking and all about it because of instagram youtube and all the other social media baking is now a household <laughs> term and it's and for a makeup artist it's actually a bit of a problem because whenever i don't bake my client's face well they would say Oh my god why you're not baking my face oh my god will my makeup stay long if you don't bake my face well take a chill pill neha i am a certified makeup artist i know what i am doing and baking is not for everyone we use translucent powder to bake certain areas of our face to make sure that the foundation and concealer doesn't move so that they don't melt away but Foundation and concealer, they don't really melt away that easily unless you are in a very hot and humid climate, unless you have a very oily skin or you are going to be working under huge hot lights like actresses or performers or theater artists or YouTubers. So unless you are in those situations, you don't really need to bake your under eye. Our under eye area produces the least amount of oil. It's a very thin layer of skin which is very sensitive and usually dehydrated. So if you're going to apply a lot of powder which basically sucks up all the oil from the surface then you are going to make your under eyes even more dry. Do you really want that? So in real life, if you're doing your makeup and you decide to bake your under eyes, then it's going to be really patchy, dry. You're going to see more wrinkles, fine lines and creases. But if your situation demands, for example, when I do bridal makeup and suppose my client has a very oily skin and I know that she is going to have to sit in front of the fire for two hours i will probably bake her under eyes a little bit for my own self i only bake again during summer and only on those areas where i get a lot of lines where i know that my foundation and concealer will move for example these tiny lines that i get under my eyes and my smile lines these are the only areas i bake now let's talk about if you need to bake your under eyes or your skin or your makeup, how to do it properly. If you have a fair skin tone, go for a translucent powder which is white or pink in tone. If you have a whitish or dark skin tone, you can go for a translucent powder which has yellow tint to it. 
or you can choose a translucent powder that matches your skin tone perfectly. The translucent powder that I use on my skin is this one from Cryolan. I purchase it as you can see it's uh, almost empty. I repurchase it every time and this is in the shade TL4. Since I have a dusky skin tone this has a yellow tone to it. If you want to purchase a white or pinkish translucent powder from the brand Cryolan, you can go for the shade TL2. I also have these Ben Nye translucent powders in different skin tone. This one is closest to my skin tone. This one is fair and this one is for people who are darker than my skin tone. Other good brands are K Beauty or Huda Beauty or you can also try the Fit Me translucent powders. I'm going to use this tiny little powder puff from pack. I'm going to take the powder like this and place it under my eyes. You don't need to cover this entire area. It will make your foundation or base makeup look really patchy. I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. And then on my smile lines. So now that we have placed the powder on the areas that we are concerned about, don't go and make yourself a cup of tea, play with your cat, sit on the porch, take a sip and wait for eternity. Please don't. Just wait for two to three minutes maximum. What I do is when I'm baking, I do my eyebrows. The time it takes me to do my eyebrows is enough for my baking to be done. After that, I'm going to take my small powder brush and just dust it off. So that's it. That's how you bake your under eyes or wherever you want to bake. I would suggest that you experiment with baking. See how it works on your skin. Don't blindly follow any YouTube or Instagram videos because us YouTubers, we do these videos when we are sitting in front of huge lights, right? So when you're going to go out in real life, it might not actually work. It's completely different. It might actually look like crap. So take your time with it, experiment with it, play with it a little bit and see if it looks good on you or not. That's it guys. I hope this was useful and you have a more in-depth knowledge about baking and why you should or should not do it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next week. Till then, take care. Bye. It looks so funny and I really love it.